Hi everyone, I'm Samantha. Welcome to my channel. Um, I tried filming this earlier, but I went to upload it and I noticed that the sound was really bad because my um, tripod was too far away. So sorry if this lighting's kind of wonky. It's the middle of the day now. It's like, that clock's wrong. Uh, I don't know what time it is. Anyways, it's four o'clock. There we go. I found a clock that works. Um, so this actually gives me a chance to shorten this a little bit. Um, so this is the intro to my new video series. Today is Sunday, January 8th. And this is, um, I believe, my first video since the new year, new year has started. I'm going to restart my weight loss journey series um, and start, you know, keeping up to date with videos a lot better than I was last time. I don't know if you guys were following my last journey a couple months ago, but I had uploaded like maybe three or four videos and then I fell off the bandwagon. You know how it goes. Um, so today I am re-launching that series, so let's jump right into it. Um, with this video, these videos, I'm going to start off right away by going into my weigh-ins and then I'm going to be talking about a um, discussion topic per video to try to keep them as short as possible. Um, so it's just easier for you guys to watch and also e easier for me to edit if I could figure out how to talk. So, um, my highest weigh-in was 252. That was actually at the end of last year. And, um, last week's weigh-in was 250. This morning I weighed in at 246.6. So that is a total loss of 6 pounds and a weekly loss of four pounds or like 3.4, something like that. I, I can't do the math right now in my head, but uh, we'll just round it to an even four pounds. My goal is two pounds per week. I think that's a pretty healthy goal. Um, what I'm doing is I'm counting my calories through my fitness pal. How I figured out how many calories I need is that I went through IIFYM.com if it fits your macros.com or you could use any macro calculator. Um, there's a couple good ones out there. They just take into account your height, weight, gender, um, activity level, stuff like that. And then they tell you how many calories you should be eating to maintain your weight, to gain weight, or to lose weight. So I did mine as a um, moderate weight loss. And I'm actually eating 23, around 2,300 calories a day, so that's quite a bit of calories. I'm not starving myself, I'm not depriving of myself, I'm not doing a no fat, no carb, no sugar, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just pretty much eating whatever I want, I'm planning out my day, and I'm figuring out um, how I can make it fit into my calories. I do have a food scale, which makes it a lot easier to portion and to measure. Um, and I just do the best I can. It's not 100% accurate. Right now I'm going to say I've been doing probably about 90% accurate, which is pretty good. Um, I also currently don't go to a gym. I'm doing this all from home. I'm doing, um, actually right now I'm currently doing Zoe Rodriguez's, Rodriguez's, Rodriguez? I don't know how you'd play Rodriguez, plural. Ugh. She has a whole, um, it's called like Build a Better Booty Program, but she has workouts for every, um, sorry, I have a little like nose thing going on, it's a runny nose. Um, she has a workout for every body part, so I do that, I try to do that Monday through Friday. Those workouts are about an hour each, and I can link that down below too if you guys are interested in checking that out. That program I bought around Cyber Monday. She always has different sales going on, so um, she's also on YouTube. Um, she's located in California, I believe. She's on YouTube, she's on Instagram, and she's always posting, especially on Instagram, like when she's having sales and stuff like that. So the whole program, which included the macro book, which currently I'm not following macros, I'm just um, trying to stay within my calorie, caloric, um, budget, whatever you want to call it. Um, that, her whole program was like $50 and you can download it like up to six times on a bunch of different um, computers. She sends it to you pretty much right away. Um, and there's different programs for different times. Like for example, I think it goes up to like two or three months. Like for the first month, do this for your arms. 
for the second month to do this program, for the third month to do this program. So it's like different workouts. Um, I like it so far because I can do it from home, like I said, and I'm not paying a monthly fee for a gym. So that's what's been working for me so far. And in my next clip, I will be showing you guys this little um, visual weight loss tracker that I made for myself, which is actually just post-it notes with numbers on them that I stuck on my mirror in my bedroom. And each post-it note represents a pound. So on each Sunday when I weigh in with you guys, we're going to go over to the mirror and take off, hopefully take off um, different post-it notes which correlate with the amount of pounds that I want to lose. My realistic goal right now, like I said, is two pounds per week. Um, I'm just focusing on that. I'm not really focusing on the big picture and getting overwhelmed by saying I need to lose 50 pounds or 100 pounds or whatever it may be. Um, so I'm just focusing on losing two pounds a week. Right now, the amount of post-it notes I have goes up to 58 just because that's how many post-it notes I had and I already cut them in half and I didn't want to be wasteful. So I'm like, okay, 58, that's pretty good. Um, so we're going to start with that and let's see how I feel and how I look as the pounds come off. I'm not really set on a number right now. Um, for some reason, I always have the number 165 in my head, but we'll see how it goes. So that's it and thank you guys I'm gonna link a couple things down below and hopefully this one um, won't be too long the future videos are gonna be a lot shorter than this like I said just because this is an intro um, this is gonna be kind of one of the more longer more longer videos um, so I hope you guys enjoy good luck to you if you are also on a weight loss journey it's the beginning of the year so a lot of people use this time to um, get motivated I don't see anything wrong with that I know New Year's resolutions are kind of cliche, but um, I have a lot of goals for this year, not just including weight loss goals. Um, so I'm going to make a separate video about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to be weighing in every Sunday and I'm going to be uploading my videos either Sunday or for Monday. So it'll be right in the beginning of the week. Um, and that just depends on what I have going on and if I have any technical difficulties or whatever, you know how it is. So stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for following along and I look forward to doing this journey with you guys. So thank you very much. Bye. Okay, so don't mind the mess, but here is my mirror of notes. Um, originally my goal was 50 pounds, but from the way I had to cut the notes in half, because um, I was trying not to be wasteful. So to use up all the notes, I just made it 58 pounds. So, and also, I'm not going off of my total weight loss. I'm just going off of 250 pounds. So, so that 50 pounds. I don't know why I want to do this, but that's just... Should I, or should I just go off of 252? Hmm. What do you guys think? Sorry, this isn't really thought out. Um, screw it. We'll go off of 252. So, like, we can take off six notes, because that's six pounds. Um, so I'm going to work from the bottom up, taking off six, because then the bottom number, because right now my goal is to lose 58 pounds. So then the last number, once I take off six, will be how many pounds I have left to lose, um, which I think is more motivational for me to look at it that way, because I'm a very visual person. So I got one, two, three, four, five... Six. I almost have a whole row gone. That's awesome. Okay, so I have 52 more pounds to lose. So I think that's really motivational for me to come over here. Like, maybe it's triggering my, like, star. Like, when I was a kid and you do chores, you're like, oh, you get a star on your calendar. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever works for you guys, like, next week. Um, hopefully I'll be able to take off more, more tags. Um, so that's it. Let me just turn this back to how it was before. Okay guys, um, if you want me to get into what macros are, or if you want me to post a video of the workouts that I've been doing, um, just let me know. Like I said, I'm going to make a couple links in the description down below so you can see um, the IIFYM calculator so you can figure out your own um, calories if you want. Oh, another thing is I've been using my fitness pal to track my calories. 
Um, and some people don't like counting calories because they're like, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I don't care um, about doing that. So it works for me. And if it works for me, it might work for you or it might not. That's okay. You have to find your own way. And that's another thing that I forgot to talk about is, um, let me just sit over here, is like I said, I really liked going to the gym. And it took me a long time to let go that I don't have to go to the gym. I don't have to stress myself out by saying you're spending this money and you're not going like I felt really guilty about that I felt guilty that I established these relationships at the gym so maybe people were expecting me to go and then I couldn't go I felt guilty for that um, but I have to do what's best for me and what's best for me I'm I'm learning what my triggers are I'm learning what worked for me and for me right now is not going to the gym for me it's coming home from work I work really hard all day long. I'm a construction worker, so that's an active job too. And so, you know, it was stressful for me to work all day, then spend, go to the gym for three hours, come home. My poor dogs, like, when my dog has anxiety, so she'd be in her crate and she would throw up. I'd come home and there'd be throw up in her crate just from being in her crate from too long, for too long. You know, like, I'd put her in her crate at six o'clock in the morning not come home until six o'clock seven o'clock at night because I'm at the gym and you know it just I felt really guilty about that and I feel like I wasn't giving her a good life from doing that um so right now I'd rather be home and I am doing the work I'm you know and I can spend more time with my fiance too like I'll be working out he'll be on the couch watching tv we can talk in between I can fold laundry in between I can walk around the putts around and I just feel like I'm being more active too because I'm getting stuff done around my house and I'm working out at the same time and it's obviously working because I've lost six pounds so far so um, at some point later in my life or whenever I would love to join a gym again I'm not going to freak out about it I'm not going to say I'm gonna join a gym in a year whatever it's gonna happen when it happens so um, I hope you guys enjoy my video sorry this was a long one this will be the only long one um, each of my topics for my future videos are going to be a lot shorter. So, that's it. And I really appreciate, um, seeing that people watch these. I hope people can relate to these. Um, when I used to do them, I would get comments from people saying, well, I feel the same way. Um, so that's it. And thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome new year. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the best way to turn this off without being awkward. But, um... That's it, and good luck to you guys if you're on your own journey too, and I can't wait to keep going and see how well you guys do and see how well I can do. So, love you. Bye.